APC Toys has been great with its rendition of versions of the Transformers Prime characters, such as the first edition Optimus Prime coming to us as Attack Prime with a Star Saber and two blasters and swords, as well as Megatron who is an upscaled and modified first edition version with a dual blades and dark star saber only previously seen in upgrade kits. In the pipeline, they also have Bulkhead who appears to be a knockoff of the first edition version with upgrade kits as well. Time will tell if they'll upscale it from the first edition version as well. I think a version that would benefit greatly from the APC treatment, however, is Ultra Magnus. Now I know that APC Toys is fairly new in the sense that they've only released a few figures and historically they haven't gotten to anything Beast Hunters. But if they did, can you imagine how well they would translate other characters? And that's the reason that the character I'd most like to see them tackle is Ultra Magnus because let's look at what we've gotten so far. Hasbro and Sakara already took a swing at Ultra Magnus way before he came out in the show but that's more of a concept version. Both Hasbro and Takara took turns with that mold and the better Takara version had him wielding an actual hammer instead of an unwieldy beam with a hammer on one end. But I digress. The actual Prime toy rolled around just in time for season 3 of Prime which was Beast Hunters. The toy mold itself is great. Aside from an annoying shoulder transformation and the need to reduce some parts to make way for this weird missile launch gimmick on his shoulders. The toy's look was very close to show accurate mold-wise and really conveyed the silhouette Ultra Magnus had in the show. With the figure itself though, looking at it, the only real problem was the color. It was powder blue. Accessory-wise, it included the perfunctory beast-like jetpack, which, you know, we just kind of tossed in a lot of our accessory boxes because it was inaccurate to the show to begin with, and the Forge of Solus Prime which would have been great if not for the fact that it was silver and perhaps 50% smaller than it should be. During Takara's turn at the Prime sequel, Robots in Disguise, they re-released Ultra Magnus in a darker, more primary blue with additional red accents, some of which were show-inspired. It also saw the Forge of Solus Prime repainted into a more gold look, though retaining the same size. It is important to note though that in the show, the Forge of Solus Prime wasn't gold but rather a metallic yellow. Hasbro did have one more go at Ultra Magnus in the now defunct Platinum Edition line, which prior to this Ultra Magnus mainly consisted of redecos of other figures, but this time they did a retool of another existing figure. At first glance, it looked like the fix for Hasbro fans who wanted a darker blue instead of the powder blue and a very promising large Forge of Solace Prime. However, this retool of the Weaponizer Optimus Prime was a weird feat of engineering that had a truck mode that looked nothing like an actual truck, more like an Autobot logo from the front with giant kibble hanging off the side and a backside that looked like it exploded with how unfinished it was. The robot mode looked more promising and a bit close to show accurate except with the odd choice of using a very bland white in place of gray or silver. That Forge of Solus Prime would have been amazing because it was a great sight but with the inexplicable need to have handles on its handles in order to be held. Owning a lot of Ultra Magnus figures myself, this is probably the worst Ultra Magnus figure out there for many reasons, both aesthetically and from an engineering standpoint. So going back to APC, APC gave us first edition Prime with all the bells and whistles. Then they realized they could make it even better with better paint apps and re-released it with a version 2.0. So quality wise, I feel like they have the willingness to at least bring Prime characters to their fullest most accurate look. They can take the Beast Hunters mold and upscale it to match the alt mode of the first edition Prime or leave it alone since technically we're mostly fine with the size of Ultra Magnus anyway. However, they can also go with the more Pantone blue that was shown in the model sheets as seen here which admittedly shifted a bit in animation when they made it more metallic and it kind of made it like a weird ultramarine, but it's a midpoint between the sky blue of Hasbro and the primary dark blue that Takara used. Since they like adding on upgrade kits to fully flesh out the pack, they can add a couple of Optimus' guns because we've seen him use them in episodes as well. And they can even deck him out with Dr. Wu's hammer and blaster set as well. 
keep in mind that they've been adding upgrade kits in before, so this is not like it's anything new. A less likely option is to modify the Platinum Edition Forge of Solus Prime so that it can still sit at the back of the flatbed folded like intended, but work with a smaller figure. I mean, even if they just straight up repainted the Beast Hunters Prime version, look at this uh, custom by Cheatimus Prime from TFW2005.com. He was able to get a pretty accurate Ultra Magnus just by repainting the Beast Hunters mold. And it's an excellent job, something that APC would have no problem tackling with the resources they have. Anyway, I'm not a petition guy, but honestly, I'm very very tempted to start something in order to kind of get APC to notice this project. Because I know that Takara and Hasbro are probably not going to be doing anything with Ultra Magnus moving forward, at least in terms of his Prime Incarnation. So. Our best hope is APC Toys tackling this and giving us basically ultimate Ultra Magnus from Transformers Prime that we've wanted for so long. But what do you guys think? Are you with me on this? Or do you think you're okay with the Takara or Hasbro versions? Sound off in the comments, like and subscribe. Till next time, this has been X's Toy Universe.